Good afternoon, welcome to Flash University. Today's session we're going to be discussing our Vanguard system controller. Now what we want to point out here is that everything will come pre-wired from the factory. We want to illustrate the main points that an installation technician is going to have to interface with. As we look closer at the Vanguard system controller, I want to illustrate the main points that an installation technician will connect to. We'll begin with our main incoming AC power. The power requirement for a Vanguard controller is 120 to 240 volts AC, 50 to 60 hertz. Now the power is going to be wired directly to the right of our fused insert, the F1 and F2 fuse block. We'll connect our power directly to the L1, L2, and ground and connection points. Next, we'll take a look at our external mode control, which will be our photodiode connection point. This goes directly on the bottom of our surge board within the Vanguard controller. This connection is polarity sensitive, so it's critical to match up the polarity as indicated on the white screen printed label on the control board. Next, we take a look at our system controller grounding. You'll find a number two gauge lug pre-installed on the controller. We need to connect that with a number two gauge wire. Don't forget to coat both terminal ends with an anti-corrosive agent, something like a NOAX or a copper shield. Next, we'll take a look at our flash shake cable connections, which will be on the bottom left-hand side of our enclosure. During an installation, it is critical to match polarity and color coding so we do not have any kind of damage happen upon installation. If multiple systems exist on site, you'll have a factory supplied RS-485 cable, which will connect to the bottom right-hand side of our main display board. You'll notice that you have a dual port on this connection. There is no input or output. Simply terminate and give a small tug on the wire to make sure it's seated properly. Next, once we've completed that, we'll simply connect our backup battery. Once you've completed these steps, simply power the system on and perform the binding process as found in your supplied quick start guide. Thank you for joining us for this video, and don't forget to visit FlashTechnology.com for other useful videos like our binding process, product manuals, tech tips, and other information.